All right, let's talk about some teenage hackers out there causing chaos and confusion. What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about some teenage hackers who are out there causing chaos and confusion by developing and selling malware for quick cash. But before we get into all that, be sure to hit the like button, share button, subscribe, and also go sign up for a Tech G membership for those of you who are serious about starting a career in IT and cybersecurity. And with that being said, let's check out this article. So apparently teenagers are out here on these discord servers selling malware. So if you got a teenage child like I do and they hang out in these discord servers like my son does, you may want to go investigate to see what your child is up to like I plan to do after I post this video. It says cybersecurity researchers are urging parents to keep track of their children's online activities. Now we should be doing that from the jump, but a lot of us don't. And I'm not going to sit here in front. I am guilty of not paying attention to everything my children do. And I have no excuse for it, as I'm pretty sure you have no excuse for it if you have a kid. It says AVAS security researchers have discovered a server on Discord where a group of minors are involved in developing, upgrading, marketing, and selling malware and ransomware strains on the platform form supposedly to earn pocket money it says the researchers believe all of them are minors since they repeatedly mention their parents and teachers and casually use age specific insults researchers learn about their activities through their discussion on discord so once again guys you got to get this out of your head if it's in your brain that hackers are a bunch of weirdo looking men and women hanging out in their mother's basement trying to break into some organization's company or infect the system with malware no you got hackers that range from old crusty people all the way down to teenagers and maybe even younger that are out there trying to cause chaos and confusion and this article saying these kids are doing it for pocket money which more than likely means that these are what they call a bunch of script kitties and for those of you who don't know what a script kitty is you go sign up for my tech g membership we talk about that in the lesson plans over there but regardless hackers come in all ages all sexes it doesn't matter it's just a bunch of people out there looking to cause chaos and confusion for profit whether the profits are just small pocket change money all the way up to hundreds of thousands into the millions of dollars for a heist. That's what's going on out there. That's why we need you all to become cybersecurity professionals so you can defend the networks. It says the hackers are involved in selling malware strains of Snatch, Lunar, and Rift and offer all kinds of services from info stealers to ransomware and crypto miners. However, researchers noted that teen hackers mainly provide easy to use malware builders and toolkits which help users employ the do-it-yourself approach to use them without actually programming. All they need to do is customization of appearance and function. So basically that is what a script kitty is. A script kitty essentially is a person that has very little to no programming knowledge. They essentially go out there and download a program or buy a program and they just click a couple buttons and bam, they're causing all types of headaches and confusion out there in these internet streets. So how do these groups operate? It says interested parties, they must pay a fee to become a group member or use the malware as a service feature. The registration fee ranges between five pounds and 25 pounds. In their report, Avas researchers noted that around 100 accounts have already subscribed to access a hacking group. It says the malware distribution process is a little unconventional. The hackers create a YouTube video demonstrating a fake crack for a popular computer game or commercial software, including a download link in the description. To develop a sense of authenticity other members of the discord group post comments on the video and thank the author while confirming that the link actually worked this strategy is much more twisted than bots for adding comments since it becomes impossible to identify fraud when a video receives comments from genuine users now like i mentioned i have a teenage son who's currently upstairs probably still in his bed sleep or whatever but i have a teenage son who is an avid video game player and he watches all these youtube videos about gaming all all day long. That's just what he does. Matter of fact, that's what a lot of kids do his age. And so I got to go up there and inform my child to not start clicking random links because I've told you guys in plenty of videos, oftentimes malware and ransomware, a lot of this stuff is simply spread by people clicking links. It's not necessarily spread by somebody hacking into your system or somebody physically breaking into your compound, your house or whatever, and then injecting the malware or ransomware into your system. It's normally just spread through emails and random links. And now 
about they're taking those random links and posting them in the comment sections of YouTube. And then they have a bunch of their buddies come through and co-sign the comment to make it seem like the link is legit. And the moment you click the link, boom, you're going to be infected with malware and or ransomware. So you guys got to be cautious about clicking links. That's why on the Tech G channel, I block all links except for the ones that I post because obviously I'm the owner of this channel. But every time somebody comes through, they leave a comment and it has a link, it's automatically blocked on my channel. You guys need to be cautious about clicking these links on these YouTube videos. And you need to inform your children if you have kids that watch these videos and inform them about not clicking links as well because they might potentially introduce malware and or ransomware into your home network by something they thought was legit. It says how to deal with team hackers. So it is a fact that this scenario is concerning. Therefore, hacking talent amongst teens and minors must be diverted towards positive ethical purposes for the overall betterment of the cybersecurity industry. It says parents must talk to their kids and understand the motivating factors that compel them to indulge in malware distribution. There are so many resources available on Discord and other platforms to help interested individuals start a career in the cybersecurity industry. And once again, one of those platforms is the Tech G YouTube channel. So shameless plug, but it is my channel. Go join a channel membership so you can get your son or daughter out there learning the basics of IT so they can use these skills for good instead of nefarious purposes. And then finally, it says, however, the first step is that the parents should communicate with their kids without judging them. It is worth noting that the groups perform illegal malware distribution without realizing the issue severity and perceiving it all as just a prank. All right. So there you have it, folks. Teen hackers, they are out there on these Discord servers serving up malware for some pocket change. So like I stated earlier, hackers come in all shapes and sizes and ages, apparently. And so you have to be cautious out there on these streets when you're out there looking at things and clicking on things that you probably had no business clicking on. And now they are taking their malware and ransomware infections to these YouTube comments by posting random links out there. So you need to inform the kids. If you got kids that watch these videos and you just simply need to inform yourself to be cautious about links that you are clicking, especially if the person that is offering the link, you haven't developed the warm and fuzzies that they are a trustworthy individual. But you can rest assured here on the Tech G channel, all the links that I post are legit because all of them redirected to my website or my playlist. So anyways, but the point is, this is what's going on out there, ladies and gentlemen. This is why cybersecurity security is important because it impacts everything. It finds its way into your life somehow, some way. And sometimes the results can be little minor boo-boos and scratches, or sometimes it could be something devastating to your life. And when I say devastating, I'm not just necessarily talking about somebody locking up your computer and now you can't get access to your family photos. I'm talking about devastating to the fact that they could possibly wipe out your bank account, or they can go through and hack a system or put some malware onto a system where a doctor can't get access to your medical files. And now your life might be in jeopardy depending upon you know what's going on with your body. And this has happened before where people have died due to something like that. So this is why I preach teaching IT and trying to get people into cybersecurity because this thing is everywhere. Also, we need to take the same information that I'm presenting and this needs to be applied towards the youth because like Whitney Houston said, the children are our future. Now, do we want these children growing up and going out there and just creating all types of chaos and confusion for fun, not realizing the totality of what they're doing? Or do we want to train these young children up on cybersecurity so hopefully they can grow up and utilize these skills for good instead of bad? So that's one of the aims that the Tech G channel has is hopefully some young kids will get interested in this enough and then they will use those skills for good. So anyways, hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you can take this information and apply it to your life in a meaningful way. And as you do apply this information in a meaningful way, I want you to hit that like button, that share button, drop a comment, subscribe to this channel, and also go join a Tech G membership so you can begin your career in IT. So you can go out there and get one of these cybersecurity jobs and go out there and get paid the big bucks for defending the systems and the network. And with that, I will highlight you on the next video. So peace.